Hi, welcome back to the Simmery YouTube channel. Hi, today I'll show you how to create a coil winding around a drum. So, off we go. I'll start with a new assembly file and I'll place in some discs that I drew earlier. I'll put the first one at the origin point and the other two just away from that. I'll then constrain using the centre lines. Drag them away a bit so I can put the mate constraint on. I'll have that at 20 mil and that at 150 mil. I'm now going to place in my drum, which I drew earlier. So that is just a cylinder with a coil cut out of it. Again, I'll place that at the origin so it goes in the same place as the discs. Okay? Now, don't worry about the, these discs because we're going to turn the visibility of them off later on. So you won't see them in the final animation. I now need to create my coil. But I'll put it on the origin plane and put my sketch on the same plane. I'm then going to project up the geometry of my discs. And draw myself a line across the middle. Draw myself a circle. Finish my sketch. I'm then going to do a coil around that centre line. But this one's going to be pitch and height. So the pitch is 10, which is the same as there it is on the drum, but the height comes from the position of the two discs. So what I should have done earlier is put a dimension on between there. There will be driven dimensions. So from there to there. And then from there to there. So we're in the coil now. Around that axis. So again, pitch and height. Pitch is going to be 10mm, which is the same as the drum. But the height of this is going to be that dimension there. So as that disc moves, that means the coil will grow as it goes around the drum. So what I need to do now to get the, the wind around is just a simple extrusion. So I'll put a sketch on the end of my coil, finish my sketch, and I'm going to extrude that. But I'll show the dimensions of the coil and it's going to be that there. Return out that. Now if I drive that mate constraint that I had on there. If I go from there say 100, as long as I've got drive adaptivity on, as you can see the coil will wind around there, but because that distance between there and there is getting smaller, the distance of the extrusion is getting smaller as well, so if I just rewind that again, we'll change that to 125, which was the actual dimension, so as you can see, the disc is moving. 
that's moving around the coil as well. So all I need to do is turn the visibility off of the discs. So visibility off, visibility off, visibility off. I'll also turn off the work plane. And then if I drive that adaptivity again, press play, it'll drive around. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that. Come back again for some more and different exercises. Thanks.